We welcome you to the Madison Square Garden of Bowling, Riviera Lanes, just outside of Akron, Ohio, and it will be Fox Sports home over the next three days as we present the Tournament of Champions. We are down to our final 17 competitors. We're going to see our top four qualifiers live Sunday over on Fox, but first, we have to determine who will join that list. Our four hours of live coverage tomorrow here on FS1 includes reigning player of the year, Jason Belmonte, plus Kyle True. So Francois ran the ladder back in 2021 where he was the five seed and ended up winning it all. When we asked Frankie about St. Patrick's Day back in Canada, not much of a thing was his response. A native of Quebec City, Canada, lives in Wichita right now. Seventh year on the tour. Five tour titles, three of them are majors. Not how you want to start. Ran the ladder to win my first ever event. And I remember what that was like mentally. And now you have to do it four times. I mean, yeah, I was in the same position as you, Randy. I ran my first ladder. And to Looking for his first PBA Tour title, he bowls out of North Rock Lanes in Wichita, Kansas. Number 17 seed, Packy Hanrahan. Yeah, and go ahead and just finish your thought on that. Brutal. And I say again. Good luck. Hall of Famer Fred Borden right behind Packy, right there in the stands. I think I see the Hall of Famer Seth Shore in the background as well. Holy <laughs> kicks! Hanrahan, a little luck of the Irish in the opening frame. <laughs> Packy is born. Patrick Hanrahan Jr., but he was this close to being Seamus <laughs> Hanrahan. <laughs> Using purple hammer. What were you going to say, Norm? I know you were going to say something. I just don't think that I've ever seen Packy use anything else except non-reactive. Now, he is a two-hander. He's going to get high rev rate. And again, the only lefty left in the field and gets another. Ooh. Yeah. Now, you mentioned luck of the Irish. Twice. Well, he tripped the six spin on that opening shot. Here it crosses over and trips the four. Yeah, that head pin just bullied the four pin from behind. Infinite physics? <laughs> Whatever it was, it worked. Let's take a look at tonight. As he's by himself, all he's got to do is act like it's four games of practice. He's done that many times. Yes, I think he can last the whole time. Trouble. Never came back. I can draw if you'd like. This never came back. But it seemed to me like he missed it and missed left. Trust it. It's going to hurt. He's going to try to get the ball over here to the right side of the head pin and cut it into the seven. And hopefully the ball takes care of the three and the nine. Nope. Not enough cut. I just think it's kind of cool that it's about physics, right? I think it's about time that we offered up our services to the marketing department of these bowl companies and come up with our own line of balls. Well, I, <laughs> I think that you're best. You know I'm not wrong. I think you're best qualified for that. Now, Norm, let's talk about the big change. A uh, less reversal that he can hold it. Yeah, he's, he said that, you know, this change has allowed me to do more things with my hand at the bottom, and, and I'm, I'm a little bit cleaner at release, he told us. And he has to do a lot more than most people because he doesn't have the rev rate. And I think the, the, the unbelievable thing is he made this change right before this week, drilled nine new balls. Yeah. Right, we all put yeah. things off. You've been putting it off. Finally had enough in Jackson. Oh, boy, missed that one in open frame. Put it off. Four off the seven. You know how hard that is to do? Terribly hard. Back to Hanrahan, open frame in the fourth, back on the strike train in the fifth. From Patrick Hanrahan, bowled collegiately at Wichita State. I love the story, his mom, Abby, 
you know, talking to her son near the tail end of his college career. What do you want to do? And he said, I think I'm, I'm just going to be a, a, a gym teacher, was getting his degree in physical education. And she said, it's not what you want, is it? And he said, no, I want to be a pro bowler, but I'm not even in the top eight of my college team. <laughs> yeah, right. Not even in the top eight. And mom said, that's your, that's your love, that's your passion. We're going to support you. And here he is. I've had buddies who grew up there. Let me tell you, that's... He's living the good life. Had that open frame in the fifth. Here he is to close out the sixth. Yeah. Strike number four for Frankie. The left lane norm about three boards hooking more than the right. With two different balls. I can't say that pin. No, no, I, I will. I will. That's a solid eight. Um, Toughest break in bowling, and he does it on a strike when he could have taken the lead. What do you leave behind? I'm sorry, I was looking away. Yeah, bowling's just not fair, Rob. What pin was it? You mm. know what pin it was. I don't. What is? Oh, there it is, the eight pin. <laughs> yeah, we all feel exactly like that. He'll just run the spare down and move on. Yeah, and I think the, the worst part of that, aside from leaving the eight, like you said, normally he was working on a strike, he could have taken the lead. I mean, do some damage in the next two frames. Working off a spare. Ooh. Oh, he's still on the plus side? Yeah, he's still on the plus All side. Right. Rob, this is best. Mm. Hang, hang is a little bit of carry down, maybe just a little bit of topography cost the ball not to hook as much as he wants it to. Good cover, though. Great cover. So, packing opportunities of succeeding at a major on television. Mm. TOC, as we showed you back in 2021, going after the four pin. Coming out of Francois. Gets all time to go there. Norm, you said when you watch him bowl, you feel like you're looking at a what? I'm looking at a bulldog. I mean, he's just going to get down in there and grind you to oblivion. There is never a time where he just goes through a, a routine spare like it's routine. Right. As well, yeah. I bet there's some mystery lurking in Mr. Hanrahan's closets as well, huh? I like Packy. Packy looks like a dude I'd enjoy hanging out with. He's on YouTube channel. The he House does. Bowling. The, the House Bowling YouTube channel. So uh, whoever he's rooming with for the week, am I understanding this correctly? They, they, I'm going to guess the renter lays down a pretty heavy deposit on their back. It's two and four. There's one of them. And again, on the right lane. The seven. Deflection. Right, right as that head pin started to come across. Damn. Now Francois. Walk could have been shut out. Now he can win it here in the tenth. Needs two strikes. There's the first. That's pretty good. Talked about his success on television in majors. It's because you can drop shots like that when you have to have them. I've been in his position right now. I've lost more than I've won looking at it. Francois moves on with the 214, 210 win. There's a good and a bad for Tim on tonight's telecast. I'll get to that when he gets up. Lavoie batting leadoff.
tell you right after his intro. Making his PBA TV debut, he bowls out of Shrewsbury Lanes in St. Louis, Missouri. Number 15 seed, Tim Grundler. All right, so the good. Make it a telecast. Yeah. He said he wanted to enjoy every second. Let me tell you how fast this game goes. It's about a second, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Remember your first time on television? Ooh. It was like it was over in a minute and a half. That's how you start, Timmy G. That's how you start. Yes, it does. Grundler hopes to survive to see Prather later tonight. Back-to-back -back opening jacks. Prather is your 13th seed. The French-Canadian Bulldog. Oh, that's not good. Brooklyn! Yeah! At the foul line, maybe a sliding issue, but crosses over and gets a great Brooklyn hit and a break on that nine pin. What do you see going on here, Norm? Brooklyn and then high. Yeah, the, the, exactly. Okay. Not convincing. And most of his shots over there, he's been waiting. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no. Well, this time he... And this is just a miss wide right. But remember, he told us, guys, when he made that grip change, that he was still figuring things out. And one of the things he was struggling with was his feel for shooting spares. No need doubt. To, need to clean up the spare game. His direct quote. Timmy G. Oh, strike. Strike. Was earlier today as we take a look at that replay and we said, hey, anything you want us to mention? He said, yes. Could you please give a shout out to mom? Pops John is here, but mom, Connie, couldn't make it working this week. And like a good boy, Connie, you raised a good. Usually an easy spare here, but it is his first one on television. Got it. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> exhale right there yep. for Tim. Native of St. Ball that he's using on the left lane, at least the same type of ball. Down 31 after three and a half frames. The walk, looking for a change, and he leaves a 7-10. Injure assassin. Anthony Neuer. The French-Canadian assassin. Only. Whoa. Sideways, at, right off the end of the pattern, Norm. Now what? No. All right, that time he covers the six down. Beautiful form, a beautiful game. Look at that. He's getting it to kind of roll out stop there, Norm. Yeah, I like his soft hand. I mean, Man. a lot of times the guys are going to tuck that pinky and get some air underneath it off their release. He is just winding on it off his release. So. It's cleaner. What, and what do you mean? I, I mean, I know what you mean, but tell the folks watching at home, what do you mean by a soft hand? A soft hand, meaning off his hand, it's really clean. Revan, like no tomorrow, but clean. As soon as you get that hand in it and you get a little bump off, that means you're going to get it a little further out on the lane. It's just going to react more aggressively down lane. Oh. Got a good break with a seven right. drop in the right. It's twice in a row on that lane that he's had a little trouble getting it to roll through the pins. Well, and that's the hooking lane out of the two. So a little bit more angle, a little bit deeper on that lane, and you got to make sure that that axis rotation is perfect if you're going to cover that much territory. Good call. 95% of the time on the tour, the 10 pin is covered. I thought you were going to say 95% of the time it's made energy in that event. Just oh, so yeah, you know. thank you. Yeah, so you have a shot at winning that trophy. Well, and we're listen, doubles. listen, if you can get me to Milwaukee in the summer, I'll, I'll do anything. It's great. Oh, but I'm only doing my round at the Holler House. Uh, so. Francois back to that original ball on the right lane. He only threw it. He only threw the blue one once on yeah. that right lane. He went back to the one that he was scoring with pretty good before. Yeah, now he can't strike. Pocket 7, 10, 4 pin, and now solid 7. And his opponent not having any trouble, Tim Grundler. You don't see him. Yes, he's down 43, but he's handling it with typical class. There you go, 
Hickey. Well, it created some angle on that shot, guy. Is yeah. it good? No. No? Okay. Well, I got I got a guy who's better than you at Instagram. Ooh. Not a good time for that, but... No. You got a guy? I got a guy, and you're looking at the guy. Okay. Yeah. Right I, now, can I'm, you get off I can phone? do both. It's like I'm dealing with my four kids right now. Can you get <laughs> off the phone? Can you, can you be engaged? Ooh, good try. Try to chop it over. So an open frame there for... Look, I, I, I'm hip with the, the Johnny Bravo ball, just not the see-through backpack. But anything for the gram. Anything for the gram. So Instagram to say, listen, <laughs> I want my ball back. And he has got it back. <laughs> Missing Johnny Bravo bowling uh, ball. Please return. Nothing, no questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like having a bolo out on your Johnny Bravo ball the fourth so it was a huge comfortable lead for Grundler and now Lavoie the French Canadian Bulldog cutting into that deficit and another strike all right so a lot to think about guys for Tim so here's Grundler first time on TV native of St. Louis what do you got Timmy G Well, he, he hit that stripe that is intended target line right on the line. And yeah. that's pretty hard to do in the ninth frame when you need it. Yeah. Just an excellent shot here. Just inside fourth arrow. Sets up perfectly in the one three. All ten go down. And now he needs a strike and seven to shut out Francois Lavoie. Right at target. Uh oh. One spare here keeps him right in it. A big strike in the ninth. How are his nerves here on his last shot in the tenth? Left. And he goes Brooklyn. What a break. Grundler moves on. No luck on the four. Yeah, he threw a pretty good shot there. Got it right, maybe a board early, maybe a board early. Got full hand in it, overreacted, and almost went through the nose. Still a good shot there. Good morning. Quite a I comeback for Lavoie, but you. You. dug himself too big. I've gone through multiple surgeries and, and issues, and we know exactly where West is coming from. He's taking on the youngster, the 27-year-old Tim Grundler, and Grundler running into some early issues there. Yeah, give it a little look back. 100% there's a chance. There's a reason they call it March Madness. Grundler. Nice cleanup, Tim. With 10 PBA Tour titles, he rolls out of MVP lanes in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Number 14 seed, Wes Malott. Make the most of it. Show the loft. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, but then show the loft as well. He's lofting it a lot. And an open frame to start. And, and Norm, how, how painful do you think goes out of the screen? That's about 12 feet. I mean, that's, who, who lofts it more? Uh, well, like, let's see, Maximum Bob back in the day? Well, typically the guy Smith? Yeah, but they had to loft it over the gutter. Back to Grundler, the 15 seed, left the 10. I mean, on the flip side, Grundler's, Grundler's laying it down right at the foul line. But he's got a lot more. It's a ball change. Whoa, way wide right. Yeah, point down lane is the farthest any ball has been right today, I believe. Yes, that is accurate. You see the line on the on the lane right there. There's uh, that, that nobody's been nobody's been in that zone. No. Tough spare. And it's covered. One, two, four goes down. Fame. <laughs> That's two in a row. 
for the nasty after that open frame in the first. Eternity. Why am I going to love that? I just thought you would like that no, for some I, reason. No, I want like a surly, nasty, stupid name. That's what I want. I'm in charge of surly, nasty, Man, stupid start, names. Start making a list. You know wow. people at Storm like... Her. What do you say you, Norm Duke? Well, I think he was just giving us all a head fake, you know? Getting us all to relax. Oh, come on! Said, you know, here we no go. Way. Let me tear up a little bit. We were. The celebrity bowling outside of the lanes there. That looked like only moving one board per frame in qualifying. You're moving two on television. Good cleanup there. Again, this is his first television match. Admitted. In around a month for the World Series of Bowling. I'll have a Pabs. Uh-oh. Rut row is yeah. right. Tim may need one. Oh, There's a big challenge here. Four, six, seven. Well, he's lost that left lane, guys. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's the four, six, seven. Might as well put the 10 up because it'd be the same type of split you're shooting at. And it's only been made once in the history of bowling, uh, professional bowling on television. And that was by Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Well, he went back to his ball rep. He asked him, should I do the take full credit that, that's for that to, one? <laughs> by the way, that's hard to believe. Isn't that? Just saying. Yeah, me too. Hell down! Oh, big nasty. This is beautiful. <laughs> He's starting to get a little comfy with that loft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a dangerous, a dangerous man. Folks, when he's when he's in a comfort zone. Sorry, Rob. Guys, for the folks at home watching, if you don't think this is a physical sport, try throwing it like that for 42 games and then bowling television. With a bad back. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. The loft is working. The lead, 49. Here in the form of Wes Malott, down 49. Desperately needs his first strike here, and he won't get it. And again, issues. Lane with that rev right, yeah, he'll change him. How many times has he faced the 3-6-10 already this game? A nice cover there. That's his. Well, you can hear it in his breath, right? Now there's some law. Yeah, I noticed that as well. And it paid off. There you go. Strike number one, but it comes in the seventh frame. Drink responsibly. Six. Pack alert. Oh. Okay. Pretty good shot. back. Oh, good point. Well, he just striped it right over his last shot's and tendon line, so I would think that had to be a good shot. Ooh. What do you call that, Rob? No, 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 those were form-fitting. lot. Love that Hall of Famer. Former Player of the Year as well, when he won three titles back in 08, 09. Ooh. He'll take that. See, his last singles TV appearance. Oh, got that. It's on the best day of the week. Amazing. Amazing, he can't get it right of the head pin. That's absolutely fair. Now, maybe he's seen this much hook. Uh, at the night rounds. However, he didn't think it was going to happen with only two people on an approach. That's what those lights do. Guess what? Another seven spare. I'm in. And he said, I, you know, I want to talk about this young man's poise. Two shots in a row, he eight pinned and still came back to win the man. No, the eight pin. That's what I thought you said. The eight pin. There's the fourth pin kicked into the sun. And see how much uh, you can get away with, but. Better. Oh, I crack off of Yeah, and it didn't. Down there. Well, at least not anymore. Oh, my. Handful. That was terrible. Product placement, my friend. And maybe make an adjustment, uh, a, maybe a Norm Duke special move where uh, Norm used to say, uh, the move I just made was a mother may I.
That's a ball change, right? Yep. So again, we have yet the lanes have been beat up. They've been attacked as well. So the winner of this one moves on to tomorrow night's action. Tom Smallwood, your 12 seed. Waiting to find out who he'll face tomorrow night. Prater starts us off with the strike. All right, Randy has showed us the burned out areas. Let's see where Prather attacked. Yeah, he's actually just a pinch left of that zone, and that makes sense. At that 40-foot mark, that's where that blue oil stopped. Hated it. Hated it. Great break. You walk around this place, you pick so much stuff up on your feet, clean it off, and then stick. Cool. You know, I had this problem a lot, too. You get, you get the, the build-out of the TV sets and all that kind of stuff. It just creates dust. And if you start walking around, you pick up some of that dust, you got to wipe it off. Yeah. Hey, Rob, you know the name of the ball that Wes Malott just switched to? Do you want to know? Only if it's a good name. RSTX2. What does RST stand for? It's a great question. <laughs> I'm enjoying the guy knocking back a St. Patty's beer behind the lot in the crowd. The green right. Well, it's big. That's all I know. There we go. There's a strike for the. What a beautiful shot. I've been watching Chris play, play the bowl for quite so many years now. I aggressive turn like he normally does. Oh. Didn't like it and missed it. Open frame. I don't know if that was wrist or if that was. A footing issue again. Oh man. Boy, that seems slow. Good really good effort. Exactly, just slow. Talk. Close. Oh yeah! How about you? Woo! Great pick up, Prather. That is your spare of the game. Sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Lower your initial mortgage rate by 3% with rate reduced from Guaranteed Rate, bringing your mortgage rate down hard oh what a spare of the game and remember that shot well so, he just needed more pins down there right <laughs> <laughs> i mean again crazy right he whips the 10 pin which he can make in his sleep and then he covers the three four the nasty up a dozen he'll add to that back to back jacks Standing right up on top of the bar, he turned on that left lane to get himself far enough left to find some head oil and still get the ball back. I mean, those, those trousers are brushing up against it. Yeah. I O. Be right. Big law from the big nasty and not the result he wanted. Double wood. Yeah, and you heard Come the double on. bounce, and that takes Let your some hand roll around the ball. Just a little extra, just a little too much. The whole place. I'll fight you, I'll fight you on You're missing the point. Don't make me go cocaine bear on you, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice strike by Prather here. Remember, flashback a couple years ago. Going for another TOC title. He's got a lot of work to do. Not just tonight, but then tomorrow. And then Sunday, should he survive. Yeah, I mean, if we get to Saturday. And then Saturday. Get to the next round of Saturday. Like that one at the release. I mean, we're talking tires and oil, but a little bit different therapy on that side of the ball. Yeah, that was a great shot right there. I'm telling you, to get this deep, throw it that far, and get this much angle on the back end, that's my boy right there because if they elbowed it at all, it would just keep going and spin out. And another big early deficit that we're seeing here. And then one of the themes, Prather. Stepped up and fired that one down quickly, 6-10. Looks great. Yeah. That works. Nice shot there by Chris Prather and all 10. 
Oh. Right of target, seven. And that's one we're talking about. Some breathing room because of this for Chris Prather. Would have been a nice break to kick that seven late. Makes this that much tougher. Yeah, that looked like it hurt his wrist as well. Right. He's going to really have to get some hook on this to get the seventh pin out. Oh, what a nice cover. Wow. That was perfect. That's pretty good. They're yet to double. Opportunity to do that here in the eighth. And he won't. And there's a contrasting difference right there, folks. I wonder how much is his wrist bothering him? I mean, he is talking to himself as he approaches the spare. Still in this game, but he's almost approaching this as a rapid fire event right now and just trying to move on for a stomach bug in the middle of match play. And here it is. I mean, he's just stepping up and firing right now. Did in the PBA Hall of Fame. Uh-oh. Hmm. In the ninth. Looks good. There's your move. There's your late kick of the 10. And the big nasty moves on. We're smiling with him. One of our favorites on the tour. Yes, he is. There, there, is, there is nothing like getting a hug wow. from the big nasty. Oh, yeah. And Prather has just been unbelievably great the last three years. What a way to finish up three straight to close for the Big Nasty. The satisfying moment of the match it is sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Nothing satisfies like moving on at the TOC. 211 for Wes Malott. And nothing satisfies like a little Big Nasty extended play. Mm-hmm. Gonna have to see.